Hi, Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of Extra. And my name is Sui. A lot of people think of Japan as a country with amazing food. With a lot of restaurants and cafes, there's bound to be ones that will restore balance in the universe. One star rating. Today, my gay little brother and I are going around Tokyo and testing out one star reviews for a whole day. Buckle up, girly pops. So we came to our first stop called Food Hall Blast. This place is kind of like a food court vibe, but everyone is talking about this one taco place. Let's read some reviews. You go there hungry and leave hungry still, just with a slimmer wallet. <laughs> they supercharge it with their added sugar sauce so it's not totally tasteless. So you love it. <laughs> they charge you 1,200 yen for something that costs them less than 200 yen to make. And they also added a photo. Interesting. I'm excited. <laughs> 2,000 yen for a salad mostly made of shredded cabbage and a rice ball wrapped in a tortilla half the size of my hand. Unbelievable. This should be illegal. <laughs> Maybe your hand is just massive. <laughs> this is not food. Went to Chronic Tacos here and got a burrito with dried out tough meat and undercooked rice, which I couldn't even finish the first bite. Good thing is that I didn't break my teeth. <laughs> 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 All right, clap if you think she should suffer. We have to test out if we're gonna break our teeth today. <laughs> I can't even fill my stomach, lol. The staff are part-time workers and filthy, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for the filthy staff. <laughs> so obviously for breakfast, we have a few things to check. Will I leave hungry with a slimmer wallet? Is the sauce sugary? Are the burritos half the size of my hand? <laughs> Hands. Is the meat tough and will, will I, I break, break my teeth? teeth? All the one star reviews are from Chronic Tacos. And although there are lots of other shops in the food hall, we're only buying food from Chronic Tacos. Their main complaint is basically everything is just lettuce and it's too expensive. Remember how one of the complaints was about the size, which honestly I think is big enough? <laughs> There's a giant burrito option, but I'm gonna get the regular one to see. Beef with it. Hi, beef burrito. Hi. Um, the staff was also not filthy and he was actually super nice. I would say it's pretty expensive though. And that's only for salad and burrito sets. But honestly, Mexican food is just expensive in Japan. Also, they have an autograph photo of Shohei Otani that was so random. Also, this thing said don't sit if you're alone or if there's only two of you. Which was so random because there's only two seats. Moment of truth, is the regular burrito too small? No, Sean, you just have big hands. First impression, the food looks amazing. <laughs> Why does it look so good, actually? It literally looks so, so good. We got the beef burrito, and we got some guacamole and cilantro on the side as well. The salad does look very delicious, but I'm really skeptical. I feel like it's just cabbage at the bottom. Let's check. It is just shredded cabbage. Hey. I paid almost 900 yen for that fucking salad. And considering you can buy a big ass cabbage for less than 200 yen, I understand why the reviews say it's kind of scammy. Okay, let's eat. You know what, I'll just be honest right off the bat, I hate the salad, don't get it. The beef and the dressing were just so salty. And the cabbage was obnoxious. Why is that so good? I had to have another bite just to check because I honestly feel like Stewie just has really paralyzed taste buds. Oh wow. And I was right. Why do I like it? I, this tastes like you can just make it at home though. I had to cleanse the sodium off my mouth with some cilantro and guacamole. Moment of truth with the burrito. Am I gonna break my teeth? This is amazing. <laughs> I'm not even joking, this is actually a really good burrito. Nothing about this burrito is too tough, too hard, or undercooked. That person who left that review about the breaking teeth, you just need to start taking some calcium, bitch. That's delicious. This is so good. They're not exactly the best at rolling the burrito. It's so loose and it's all spilling from the side. With that said, we're ready to leave a review. A salad is mostly shredded cabbage, but that's every salad in Japan. It is pricey, but you see the price before buying. Burrito is big enough for my petite body, Sean just has big hands, I didn't break my teeth. Now that breakfast is over, we are heading to the next location called Oh My Cafe in Harajuku. It's in this iconic mirror building called Tokyo Plaza. They actually recently renamed their cafe to Box Cafe in Space. The concept of the cafe is actually really interesting. Their theme is always based off of a famous character. And... It's in Eugene's Cafe this month. Eee! Oh my god. The reviews here are not very good and the place is literally empty so it kind of shows. The darker shows at the cafe were pretty. However, the food was incredibly expensive for what it was. A fruit plate with only two strawberries, four blueberries, and three slices of kiwi plus a fake dry macaron. <laughs> For 19.90, it's a scam. The drink was basically ice with flavored syrup, which also was about 1,600 yen. Extremely disappointed, would not recommend, and would not go back either. <laughs> Oh wow, that's so bad. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay, so it looks like the drinks are gonna be very watery and this space is gonna be very expensive. The photo is making me laugh. A fake macaron. This for 1990 is crazy. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Very expensive food and drinks with bare minimum service. The drinks were mostly ice. All in all, this place is just a complete scam. <laughs> What I noticed about this place actually is they just like plaster any character for the month. It's giving that. So let's see how the bunnies and new jeans do. 1,800 yen for a single cold yogurt soaked pancake that looks like microwave Eggo waffles with jealousy. Oh, fuck! Such food is not, could not be worth paying for. It is absolutely not worth the extortionate price they charge. <laughs> it was terrible. I'm excited to try some microwaved Eggo waffles with jealousy, whatever that means. It is not tasty. You can hear the sound of the microwave cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> I felt it was a really terrible store. <laughs> we're gonna have to listen for the microwave sounds, you guys. <laughs> anyway, we're getting called for a reservation, so let's go. With that said, we entered Banini Cafe with New Jeans. If I'm being honest, we were actually very surprised that there was barely anyone in the store. There was also way less decoration than I imagined. The cafe was basically for the bunnies character of New Jeans. So besides the projected music video of New Jeans on the wall, we couldn't see any photos of the New Jeans members themselves. Did they just run out of budget even with their extortion? prices. They also said we can only order once using the QR code. No reorders and no cancellations. Notice anything you guys? Why the fuck does it say Tomorrow X together? Maybe last month's theme was TXT and they forgot to change it? <laughs> Honestly, it's just so awkward and kind of incompetent. We pretty much just danced through every single choreo of New Jeans while waiting for the food. Their menu consisted of carbonara, sandwich, waffle, sundae, and two types of drinks. So we got both drinks, the carbonara and the waffle. Can you guess how much the total is? Almost 6,000 yen. Oh my, oh my god, this better be fucking worth it. First impression, it actually looks really cute. I love that they added the little dots. That's really cute. Yeah. I can see the fingerprint of the people though. <laughs> it smells really good. It Ooh. smells like carbonara. I like it. <laughs> it's just carbonara, you can't go wrong. I mean, you come here for the vibe and the decoration if you're into the character. You don't come here for the food really, right? If you, you want pasta, go to Italy. Why would you come here? You're like, oh, I want pasta, let's come here. No, you come here for new jeans. You come here for the character that's here. And maybe if you're so worried about the price, go to Saizuriya. This is really expensive though. The pasta is Nissan. You know, that's literally the same price as Italy. Spaghetti Italy con tracciatella is thank you, gratitude. They probably didn't even make the sauce themselves. <laughs> it just tastes like carbonara you make at home. <laughs> this is amazing. I... Can you hear microwave sounds? I think that's why the music is so loud. It's to drown out the microwave sounds. Yeah. I hated that. That was so bad. 10 out of 10. What the f- Yum. Oh wow. <laughs> One of the main complaints here, the drinks are really icy and just so watery. I don't know about you, this is fucking amazing. I don't know what type of water you're drinking, but it must be good. This is so good. This one changes color if you mix it. Ooh, it's pink and ice. Oh my god, it's like... Tequila sunrise. I. Oh wow. Warnatana? I. This is watery, bitch. This is like 90% syrup. That is really the strongest flavor I've ever had in my entire life. This isn't watery, and they even give you time. Sucking dick and cock. <laughs> time and place. <laughs> and you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> Sucking dick and cock. Like, I'm just like, time and place. And you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> Honestly though, now that we've had most of the drink, they're right. The drink is mostly ice. Remember another complaint was microwave Eggo waffles with jealousy. Oh, fuck! Let's try this. Eggo waffles with jealousy. Oh wow. How is it? <laughs> that looks amazing. Why is that amazing? That's so good. Why is that so good? Okay, the waffle itself reminds me of something. It's not food. Ah, clay. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really like rubbery almost. Stale. Stale. It's like Eggo waffles with jealousy. <laughs> but overall, if you combine all of it into this delicious concoction, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> with that said, here's a review. Drinks are good and really refreshing with lots of ice. Rubber waffles taste amazing. Carbonara feels homemade. Stewie's home. Place is empty. Good music. New jeans on repeat. Too expensive, never coming back. 
one of the places we're going to today is actually a convenience store. It's probably the convenience store with the lowest rating I've ever seen. With reviews like, they gave me the wrong change and were very rude about it when I mentioned it to the staff. They gave the change back to me wrongly. I did not even recover. Not 7-Eleven sending this man to therapy. And worst review of all, terrible trash store. In particular, the treatment of a woman with short cut, no eyebrows, and dirty skin that looks like a pig is extremely cruel. Oh wow. Two of the main complaints of this store, number one, the staff is really rude. And number two, they don't give the right change. So I'm gonna try to buy just one bottle of water with 5,000 yen and see what happens. It was a Saturday afternoon, it was insanely crowded, but we got the bottle of water. So far, the staff is actually really nice. And I actually don't know what everyone's talking about because the change is calculated automatically by this computer. And needless to say, the change was right. So my review of the 7-Eleven, best water ever. <laughs> We have made it to our next restaurant, and this one is actually a cafe. We are going to this place called Pronto for some afternoon pick-me-up, just for a little bit of caffeine in our system. The reviews are in. The cutlery is dirty, and the bread is all on fire. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, look at the picture. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes, even though it's a non-smoking room. The whole store smells of cigarettes. The coffee also tasted like tobacco. Worst for non-smokers. <laughs> I'm so excited to try out some cigarette coffee. I don't know what that tastes like, but let's try. <laughs> it looks like they have food as well. They have pasta. We also have seasonal drinks like sakura latte or whatever. Let's try it. <laughs> the store was actually really busy because it was a weekend. Thankfully, we were still able to get a seat. Right off the bat, I noticed all the cutlery being right oh, next wow. to the cash register where all the money is. I don't know if that contributed to the dirty cutlery review, but that was something I noticed. Ordering was so awkward because I was choosing things and they didn't have most of it. They didn't have any of the breads because apparently they only make them in the weekdays. So we just got a sakura mon blanc, a sakura lemonade, and their sakura latte. Okay. And the sakura lemonade was actually really good. Main complaint by everyone is it smells like smoke here. <laughs> it smells like you took someone's cheeks, spread it wide, put your nose in there. In other words, it smells like a breathing hole. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Although the first drink was good, the sakura latte... <laughs> It tasted like I was sucking on a cow's boob. It tasted like straight up cow's milk with a hint of sakura. But the Mont Blanc we had, oh mama. That's amazing. Yum. So what do we rate this place? Doesn't smell like cigarettes, but definitely smells unpleasant. No breads and sandwiches on the weekend. Sakura latte, aka cow tit mukbang. Ah, <sighs> we're just back home for a little bit to nap. We wouldn't have to do that if it weren't for the fucking lack of nutrition from all the stupid foods we're eating today. Like, we literally have to rely on a nap. It's also kind of getting cold tonight. Anyway, we're ready for dinner, and the next place we're going to actually has some pretty good food, I feel like. Just based off the menu, at least. The reviews, though... Mm, I don't think so. Let's read some reviews. The entrance is interesting, but everything else is bad. There is no design on the interior. There is a hefty table charge. My friend also said the alcohol they served wasn't real because he has an allergic reaction to fake alcohol. So we both left feeling sick. We essentially paid money to be sick. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm kind of scared. To be honest, I feel like your friend is just allergic to alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? There was something clearly different from the photo. Isn't it a different product? I checked it and was told that it was definitely correct. <laughs> that looks so different. <laughs> the photo they posted of the gyu harami and the actual thing that came is wild. Even the color of the plate is different. What is that on top of the meat? That looks like actual feces. <laughs> What bothered me the most was the attitude of the staff. First, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> And after jumping about five steps, I fell on my knees. But even though she was looking at me, she didn't say anything like, are you okay? <laughs> Bitch, are you just a pick me? Here's a lesson for you. Don't expect anything from anyone. Stop projecting. With that said, I'm actually really excited because I passed by the entrance of this place a bunch of times and it just looks so cool, but also kind of scary. I've always thought it was a club, but apparently it's a whole izakaya restaurant. I'm starving. Let's go. So we made our way to Kabukicho, which is the most dangerous place in all of Japan, which happens to be in Shinjuku. We made sure to make a reservation because it was a Saturday and we expected it to be busy. The restaurant is on the main road and it actually stands out a lot. It's called Neo Tokyo Fooding Bar Miss. <laughs> Didn't fall down the stairs. 
It was one of those places where you had to take off your shoes before entering the establishment. So we put our shoes in the free lockers they had outside, and it was time to enter. Oh, wow. Hi. Um... What the fuck? If anything, the place looks like an escape room. It was actually so fun. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> they had cocktails based off your star sign. Of course, they got a Leo and Stuby got a Libra. Stylish dining bar Mysterious. Mysterious is right because the fact that we came to this place is a mystery. They had so many different cocktail options. I was scared. They also had quite a lot of food options and it was actually pretty interesting. Here she is, you guys. The infamous beef. <laughs> first glance at the cocktails, I knew it was kind of gimmicky. It was definitely just some sweet syrup added to it. They also gave us this appetizer, which also counts as the table charge. Anyway, cheers to us with these fun little cocktails after a long day. Oh, wow. Oh, wow is an understatement because it was actually disgusting. Ugh. You know what else is a mystery? What the fuck are in these cocktails? Ugh. <laughs> Well, at least we know alcohol is one of the ingredients. Now we tried their little appetizers. Mm. It was so delicious, but the only way is up after those horrible cocktails. First, we got the seafood salad, which honestly looked exactly like the photo. We also ordered this thing called the black hole salad. <laughs> Anything with a hole for us. Looks like one. What is it? It was pretty much just a normal salad with a lot of seaweed. The dressing was a soy sauce mayonnaise base. And you guys, I know I can be dramatic sometimes, but let me tell you, please believe me when I say this is probably one of the best salads I've had in a Japanese establishment. Mm. We finally got the first item that did not look like the pictures at all. Here is the photo on the menu. Three little penises. Yummy. I'm just kidding, you guys. But you know what I'm not kidding about? Mm. Mm. The fucking flavor of the shrimp. Yum. Who thought I could get good seafood from a fucking dungeon? Wagyu beef steak on the menu. This is what we got? I'm pretty satisfied. The infamous beef? It looks worse on the photo. This looks delicious. Lesson of the day is do not judge a mysterious dungeon by its cover because that's delicious. This Wagyu beef was honestly so yummy. The infamous beef on the review, though? The beef was too stinky. Finally, we also got some risotto. This one honestly looked farthest from the photo. With that said though, hands down, this was the best thing we've had all day in any of the restaurants we went to. Like how can the perfect flavors just marry each other in a stupid fucking dungeon? That is genuinely so good. One of the reasons I'm doing a voiceover is because the binaural beats from hell that they were playing was so fucking loud. Anyway, wanna know how much I paid for all that food? With that said though, our review is in. Alcohol secret ingredient unlocked. Bleach. Staff was nice. I didn't fall down the stairs. Best izakaya food ever. Don't come here if you're on a budget. The binaural beats from hell calms you down so you forget about the prices. Wear socks. Today was a very successful day of saving the bees. If you guys want us to do more videos like this, let us know in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next video next week. Bye!